the Viking chieftain wakes up to a dawn in an unknown land with an unforgiving terrain, the snow. He knows not where he is or who is his enemy, but he gets ready to fight. Near him is the Mongol warrior facing the same problems. The warrior begins to wander but is met by the Viking. The two of them, not knowing each other and seeing that they are both ready for battle, decide that they are enemies. They charge into a battle. Let's see who wins, shall we? The Vikings were a fierce enemy. Most Vikings would get close to their enemy, but they could also stay away. They would have fierce charges where they would not care about their life and would take down several of the enemy at once. Fighting them would be a problem, especially for civilizations like Rome, because size of your army doesn't matter when you are fighting the Vikings. What matters is whether your army can handle the heat. Due to the Vikings' experience in the snow, I'm gonna give them a 10 out of 10 rating. But they've not fought in regular forests or deserts, so they're gonna get a 1 out of 10 in both. But what about our Vikings' enemy, the Mongols? The Mongols were a fierce, fierce, fierce warrior who would fight since they were born. Life where they lived was tough and they have been taught to hunt, ride horses and kill. These two are fierce enemies whose lives have been dominated by war and they have not had another choice. The Mongols had the largest land empire in history so I'd give them a 7 out of 10 in the snow because of Siberia. A 5 out of 10 on the desert and a 10 out of 10 on regular land. But due to the snow, the victor is obvious. Today, only the Viking shall walk out. On another side of the battlefield, in a regular grassland biome, the civilizations of Rome and India find themselves fighting each other. But because they have the same skills and qualities, their fight ends in a tie, and both of them scatter. Rome stays in the grassland, and India goes to the desert. The wounded Viking rushes through the forest trying not to accept the harsh reality that he will die of his wounds. Left without any protection after the fight with the Mongol, he is now in a snow where it's extremely cold, numbing even. Without proper protection for his wound, he bleeds to death. But the tournament must continue. Our next enemies are the ninja and the samurai.